Imagine a beautiful garden with colorful blooming flowers, buzzing insects and smart machines that help us take care of it. Ever thought of recreating such an entire garden using just your LEGO Spike Prime set? I've taken the challenge to design lifelike LEGO models ranging from plants, flowers to moving insects. In this video I'm going to show you these new LEGO Spike Prime models in action. Let's begin! Taking care of a garden starts with a soft grass carpet, but that's hard work to keep it in order. Now, imagine having a smart lawn mower that takes care of your beautiful garden all by itself. This little Lego robot moves around systematically, making sure no spot is left uncut. Why testing it indoors then? Well, it's not advised to run Lego robots in real grass and dirt. This robot can follow a precise pattern using its built-in gyroscope or trim along the edges by tracking the border with its side sensor and detecting obstacles with its bumper. By building this model you learn how to design a low-profile, well-balanced robot and how to program it to navigate efficiently and super precisely using sensors. These techniques could be super useful, even for your next robotics competition. But if you own a much, much bigger garden or a field to grow food, a simple little mower isn't enough anymore. That's where the smart tractor comes in. It can detect and collect objects, like bundles of crops, using a robotic arm and a sensor to tell ripe crops from unripe ones. Besides its automatic mode, the tractor can also be remote controlled using pie bricks. This model introduces the challenge of building a grab and lift mechanism with a single motor and programming it to make intelligent decisions based on sensor input. But in order to harvest crops, you must grow them first. And to grow them faster and smarter, let's use a greenhouse. For example, this smart LEGO greenhouse takes care of its own flowers, detecting when they need water and taking action. It can even control the temperature, turning on a fan if it gets too hot. This knob doubles as a way for you to simulate an increase in temperature and as an indicator of the current temperature that decreases as the fan kicks in. To grow the best crops or flowers, a greenhouse needs artificial lighting. So if it gets cloudy, these lights turn on. With this project, you will learn how to create an automated system that responds to changes in the environment. Flowers bring beauty to any garden, and this mechanical flower behaves just like a real one. It blooms in daylight and closes at night. But be careful! If you touch its leaves, it quickly shuts to protect itself, just like a real sensitive plant. This model is an original way to let you explore how combining sensory motors can create lifelike movements. Among all flowers, some flowers are the smartest. This simple yet clever flower can turn toward the brightest light, just like the real sunflowers tracking the sun. It requires quite an advanced code written in Pybricks, allowing the light sensor to measure ambient light with its LED turned off. You can even upgrade it with the LEGO Sunflower set for 0524. By making this project, you learn how to use sensor in new ways to detect and track what's happening around. Some plants, however, are not so peaceful. This carnivorous plant doesn't just sit there, it moves. It shakes when something approaches, as if getting nervous. If anyone gets too close or dare touching it, it strikes with a quick snap. This project brings personality to a plant, making it a really nasty weed, and teaches how to program reactions based on proximity. Of course, plants need pollinators, and this bee is on a mission. It's part of a game when you must help it land on the right flowers while avoiding the bad ones. But there's a twist. The only way to control it is by tapping on the table. The longer you play, the harder it gets, as the speed increases. This project teaches about reaction-based games and interactive play. A great way to mix robotics, fun and fast reflexes. Another flying creature joins the scene. This butterfly is a beautiful mechanical model that flaps its wings using a clever system based on cranks moving in sync with gears. Unlike other robots in this theme, this one works without any programming at all, as the Spike Prime Hub hearth program is enough to make it flap its colorful wings. And if you add a distance sensor, you can even interact with it by controlling the speed of the movement by moving closer to it. Before going on, good news, you can build all these models by getting the detailed instructions from the link below. And now let's move on. Not all insects fly, they also walk. This bug moves on six legs, but instead of the simple left-right controls, its legs shift weight and move in coordinated sequences. Once ready, it's quite creepy to see it walking around. It can walk in a straight line or turn with precision. Programmers can make it avoid obstacles or even control it remotely with pie bricks. 
This project challenges builders to sequence movements carefully to achieve lifelike walking. A different kind of bug, the hardworking ant, walks on six legs too, but it has an extra feature. It can grab things with its powerful jaws. It looks for objects along its way, picks them up and moves them, just like a real ant collecting food. Once you learn the techniques to sync the legs for walking and turning, you can create new programs to let the ant navigate and avoid obstacles, or even control it with colored bricks. With this project you learn how to combine walking movement with object manipulation with a compact efficient design. One last animal can be found in our amazing spike garden, a cute shy turtle. It walks slowly, enjoying its surroundings, but if something comes too close, or if it's picked up, it gets scared, its head retracts and it trembles inside its shell. Poor creature. Once you leave it alone, it will continue to graze. This simple but expressive model teaches how to program reactions that make a robot feel alive. These models show how machines can mimic nature, but what if we took our exploration to a different realm? To see how robotics can help in medicine, watch this next.